Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Aisha Sheikh. I work as an emergency medicine consultant at Oxford University Hospital. I'm also an FRKM examiner with the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. This is a edited recording of a talk I gave recently to Worcester University medical students regarding why choose emergency medicine. Uh, career pathway as emergency physician and how great my speciality is. I thank Worcester uh, Emergency Medicine Society for organizing and recording this and I thank Royal College of Emergency Medicine for editing and sharing it. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. How did my journey start? So, well, I was 17 years old. Uh, to be honest, I didn't get into med school in India. I ended up going to a university in Russia, which is called Saratov State Medical University. It's a public university. However, they are affiliated to military centers. So I worked in public hospitals and I worked in field hospitals during my tenure, which was about two years in AIG hospital. I resuscitated about 800 to 900 calls out of which we averted about 400 cardiac arrests in the wards. And then uh, with that experience, I moved to the UK um, and I was already a FRCM, which is the Fellowship of Royal College of Emergency Medicine. So I was experienced, I already had an experience of working as a consultant and I had dual um, uh, training one year and I was subspecialized in uh, PEDS uh, back home. And I had, uh, uh, in academics, I had done a simulation and I had done a fellowship in toxicology. And then I moved to the UK as a reg. So I started from scratch. I started as a senior registrar. I took up a, a trust job and I did Caesar. And uh, after I joined here, so I joined a week before uh, COVID, that is in 2020, as a senior registrar. and. Um, I develop my academics here as well within the department. So I'm right now honorary lecturer with the Oxford University. So I teach in Green Templeton College and as well as Oxford Brooks. And after I became a consultant, um, so my role involves supervising academic teaching, shortlisting and training. And I'm also an examiner within the Royal College. Um, so I'm a FRKM OSCE. MR Chem OSCE examiner. I'm also examiner for fifth year medical students. So John Radcliffe Hospital is a major trauma center. So basically, if you go through the geography between Birmingham and London, we are the only tertiary trauma center. So any big trauma, it's airlifted and brought to RGRED. We see high referrals and uh, patients for plastic surgeons, burns patient, patient for vascular, et cetera. So that means all emergencies go through JR, through our department. So why did I take this field? I wanted, I always wanted to be a doctor. I think as far as I remember, when I was six or seven year old, every single time when my parents took me to a hospital, I, I found that fascinating. I don't have any doctors in my family. And whenever I saw doctors or paramedics or nurses, I always found that very interesting. And emergency medicine is the 20 minutes of every speciality. You get to see the most interesting and critical cases. And you get to stabilize medical cases, trauma, pediatric, psychiatry, mental health, and it has it all. And... I wanted to work in a speciality where I look forward to going to work and I actually do look forward to going to work. I never have Monday blues. I look forward to going and working with my team and, you know, stabilizing patient. It gives you like the most amazing thrill. And we have the best stories. For instance, two days ago, I resuscitated a patient uh, with, you know, hyperthermic cardiac arrest, a very young chap. And today he's doing really okay. For, we had to run the call for more than, I think, uh, 45 to 50 minutes. And he revived and was team effort. 
uh, paramedics, nurses, doctors involved. And today he's doing absolutely fine. He's awake, he's talking, he's eating. It's just amazing. I got to lead uh, resuscitative thoracotomy. And this happened during Christmas time. I was five months into being a consultant and I led that case and I had opened the chest. And this patient walked out of the hospital uh, almost 10 days later, uh, completely fine in a most stable condition. And I think, yeah, that's why emergency medicine. And also I'm somebody who doesn't like to get too involved in the case. I initially like to stabilize them. I enjoy that adrenaline rush. And once the patient is stable, they get moved to different ward or theater. Uh, if I describe my day, how it is in ED, you know, in the morning I get to resuscitate a trauma case and open somebody's chest. And the second patient could be having a mental health breakdown. And the third patient could be a lovely 92 year old with dementia and sepsis. And a fourth patient could be, I don't know, ectopic pregnancy ruptured. Fifth patient could be eight year old with appendicitis. So we don't have one R which is monotonous or, or the same. And if you're somebody who loves the adrenaline rush, we'll talk about the subspecialities too later. So then, then emergency medicine is for you. It's real-time decisions, it's unfiltered impact, and it's unexpected challenges. Imagine a major incident where there are 200 patients inside emergency department and about 100 being wheeled in and you have to deal with media, you have to deal with police, uh, you have to deal with paramedics, you have to deal with pre-hospital doctors, you have to deal with different specialities, and you're the boss. Um, I think I enjoy that thrill, even though it's chaotic, it's, it's um, uh, busy, but I think I go home always with a smile, I go to bed and I sleep really well. So I think that's why hence emergency medicine. I can go on about it, so, but let's move on. So different skills you can develop in EM. I think we we are taught not just uh, managing emergencies, but also managing people, managing chaos, uh, managing uh, different specialities. You develop leadership qualities. And if you are somebody like me who loves doing procedures, whether it is chest drain, whether it is canthotomy, whether opening somebody's chest or resuscitative hysterotomy, if you have a pregnant lady more than 20 week and they meet, you know, with a road traffic accident, you're the only clinician in the room who will know how to open uh, and save the mother and the baby, which we call it resuscitative hysterotomy. And if you want to be cool, then emergency medicine is for you. And it's rapid and, and immediate decisions. So in basically, you're dealing with uh, every specialty's 20 minutes. And from newborn till they are 104, you get to see all kind of emergencies. Um, so rapid decision making, communication skills, and of course, triage system, et cetera. So you can do 50% of pre-hospital. Um, where you get to be the amazing air ambulance doctors and 50% you can work in ED. So I think pre-hospital is pretty cool. And if you're somebody who loves uh, children, um, and by the way, children are not like tiny humans. They're completely different species. So it needs vigorous training too. Um, so I think you can do emergency medicine, but you'll get to see emergency medicine both sides in adult and peds more. Uh, in uh, in Oxford, it's slightly different. I still see uh, and I treat pediatric uh, patients, but every trust is different. But you need to, in majority of the trust, you need to subspecialize uh, and have a additional fellowship in pediatric emergency medicine. And so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see adults and then, you know, a few days you get to do 50% in pediatrics, which is quite cool. And if you're somebody who enjoy you know, uh, critical care and a bit of quiet time from, you know, ED kiosks, then I think ICM and ED is an amazing combination. And you can also do a lot of different fellowships. Let's just say you're not interested in subspeciality, but you want to improve how ED is in general. So there are a lot of leadership courses that you can do and leadership fellowships that you can do, uh, or you can do MBA. 
and become clinical director, deputy clinical director, and work on the pathways of emergency department. We keep changing. Uh, the whole idea is to, you know, make sure that uh, we offer the best quality of care and keep improving that. So, yes, um, you know, you can do a lot of fellowships in leaderships as well. And if you're somebody who likes research, then there are a lot of opportunities. We have, uh, you know, dedicated a research team. You can read about it. It's called MROX, E-M-R-O-X. It's a dedicated team based in Oxford. Um, so you can be, you know, 50% ED consultant and the rest 50% would be dedicated in your clinical trial and research studies, et cetera. Um, and every hospital will have a lot of support in, in terms of research. And I've already spoken about work-life balance. Not just we have the best uh, stories to say. Uh, I think because of how the um, speciality is, we work only uh, 40 hours a week. And that is 10 PAs, which is basically if you work out, uh, including once in a month, I do a night shift as a consultant. Uh, so that's about 10 days in the whole month. And I think some days I work eight to five and a few days I work on a shift, which is four to 12. It's a team effort. It's never just about one doctor. It's your team, a team of nurses, team of doctors, team of paramedics. We work very closely with the police as well and uh, different forces uh, if required, like social services and safeguarding teams. If you know how to uh, stabilize and how to pick up emergencies, I think you'll be an amazing doctor. You can work anywhere. Thank you all for listening to me and taking the time out.